Armenia and Azerbaijan have agreed to refrain from deliberately targeting civilians in a conflict over Nagorno-Karabakh. Hundreds of people have been killed in a more than a month of fighting. The agreement was reached during talks in Geneva between the country's foreign ministers and envoys from France, Russia and the United States, co-chairs of the group created to mediate. And the co-chairs of the OSCE group said in a statement that Armenia and Azerbaijan had also agreed to exchange the bodies of fighters and to provide within a week lists of detained prisoners of war with the aim of an eventual exchange. But just hours after this move, Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has tweeted saying that despite the agreement, Azerbaijan has resumed bombing Shushi and Stepanakert. He accused Azerbaijan leadership of not fulfilling its own commitments. Three ceasefires have failed to halt the latest fighting. The first ceasefire was declared on the 10th of October, brokered by Russia. It was broken within a day. The second agreement, negotiated by Russia, was broken hours after coming into effect, and fighting resumed within a day. The most recent agreement, brokered on the 25th of October in Washington by U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, has also failed to stop the fighting. Hundreds of people have been killed since the worst fighting in decades erupted between the countries. The attacks in Nagorno-Karabakh have killed hundreds and is the biggest escalation in decades-old conflict. Nagorno-Karabakh is internationally recognized as a part of Azerbaijan, but is populated and controlled by ethnic Armenian forces backed by the Armenian government since 1994.